Hold on, audio and video recording again, sorry. Uh, turn it back on. Okay, um, am I being detained, officer? Can you please put the sign down? Am I being detained? Yes, right now you are. Okay, I do not consent to any detainment. I do not consent to any search and seizure. And I plead the Fifth Amendment. Okay. All right. Okay. ID, please. I do not consent to your ID. Why is that? Because it's my right to privacy. Okay. You're walking around the city with a firearm. You have a right to ID you. No, you don't. There is no law that cites that. Can you cite the ordinance for me, officer? Okay, we got a call for suspicious. Doesn't matter. Okay. So we have a right to ID you. Okay. No, you don't. Make sure that I'm sorry, officer. You don't. There, there is no ordinance, and I'm not. Okay. Because I'm talking. Okay, I will not. Okay. I do not consent to, officer. I do not consent to any searches and seizures. Well, just while I'm talking to you. And you're, you know, I'm defenseless. Uh, what's the word? Here's the deal. When the police talk to you, we don't allow people to have firearms. Officer, look, I do not want to have bad records to you. I have not filed a lawsuit the last time, and if this continues, I'm going to have to file a lawsuit. I will. I told you. I don't consent to any detainment. I, you have no re what, tell me, what reasonable suspicion of a crime am I committing? Okay, you're walking around with firearms. That's, a, that's not a crime. That's not a crime. People are complaining. That is not a crime. I want to know who you are to make sure you're Officer, that, that is not a crime. Free to go. Make sure that you don't Officer, have stolen firearms. Officer, am I free to go? And then you'll, am I free to go? I'd like to see your ID. We'll Officer, I do not consent. This is a lawful detainment right now, and I don't consent to this. I'm not trying to be a dick to you guys. You guys been harassing me. You already got pictures of me. You already see me in the newspaper. Okay. I have not talked to you. Okay. Well, Boone has talked to me. Okay. Well, behind. Sergeant Boone is the one handling this case. Okay. Okay. Are you a sergeant officer? I am not. Can I speak to your supervisor, please? Right, right there. Okay. Well, I tell you right now, I don't consent to this detainment. This isn't a lawful detainment. What reasonable suspicion of a crime am I committing? Okay. Here's the deal. I'm listening. When, when the police department responds to suspicious, take your hands out of your pockets, please. Oh, when the police, cool. when the police, police department responds to suspicious incidents, okay, mm -hmm. and calls for service, okay, we like to identify who we're I'm sorry, to. officer. There is no ordinance. Okay. There is no city ordinance as well for that. There is no, this is not a Terry stop. There is no Terry stop in Oregon. Really? Yes. There's no Terry stop? No. I, yeah. It's been go with Eugene. Guy over there, he did the same thing. There is no Terry stop. If Ray went to court, if I have to, I will go to court. Because this is wrong. You can't just detain me unlawfully. If I'm waving my arm in the air like that, then maybe, yeah, of course. You, you have the right to detain me. That's reasonable suspicion. Okay. I am not. I'm detained right now, okay? So just hang tight. I'm going to look up your name and who you are. And we'll figure it out that way, okay? But I don't, I don't know who you are. I'm going to make sure you don't have any warrants for your arrest. And that's what we do on every contact the police department makes when we get a call for oh, service, okay? I'm so sorry. just hang tight officer, here, but, and I'll be back. Okay. I'll Sir, we're not doing anything. We wouldn't do on any other stuff. But you listen, know who I am. Listen, listen. Wait, no, I, you know what? I've talked to you before, but I cannot remember your name right now. Okay. It's in the newspaper today. I didn't read the newspaper. Okay. Today. okay. Here's the so, deal. Here's the deal. We're just doing what we do on every stop. We didn't drive by you and find you. Okay. We got called out here. Yeah, we got called out. But here. aren't you guys supposed to be sworn to us? You have supposed to uphold your oath. Why are you guys violating that? We're not doing anything right now. We're just doing our comms. Okay? We have to make contact with you because we had a citizen call. Okay. okay so we're going to do. We're going to uphold what they requested us to do. But sir, there is no ordinance. We're going to get you identified when we get here, just like we do on every stop, just like we do on every. But that's not. That's not lawful detainment. We're going to find out who we're talking about detaining you right now. But you just we told me to he to detained me. We have to figure out. He we just have to figure out who you are right now. Okay. You're in our files. I just can't remember your name right now. You guys have a picture we, of me we too. We gotta run you. We gotta make sure you're clear. We gotta make sure you're not causing this from inside here. We're gonna get out of here. Okay? But like I said, there is no law that said you have the right to stop someone lawfully doing activity. Right now we do. Right Th now that's we do. not. You're, well, can you tell are, me what? You, can you cite the law right now? You're stopping me. You are bordering on disorderly conduct. That's not. Get people out here a fire, concerned about you walking around with a firearm. Why are you getting angry okay? at me? I'm just telling you because you keep talking over the top. Of okay, me. I'll just stop listen. then. I'll stop for now. All right. All you have to do is be a little cooperative with us right now. We're going to be cooperative with you. We just got to make sure we understand who we're talking to. Officer Doe has never dealt with you before. He doesn't know you. He just knows your photo. Okay. Now what are you going to say? Like I said, this is an unlawful detainment. And I'm not trying to be like, look, you might think I'm difficult, but you guys are supposed to uphold the law. Just drive by? Yes. Blow off so what am I doing? What, what law am I breaking? You scare somebody. I'm not scaring anyone. Somebody I have called. recording. Yeah, that's your opinion. That's your opinion. No, that, that's their opinion. That's, that's opinion. actually uh, they're disordered. Enti they're entitled to it. Okay, they're entitled to it. They're alarmed right now because you're walking around out here with a gun. Right now. Somebody call the police for it. Okay, but yeah, that is. We respond. Okay. 
That is disorderly conduct in the first degree if someone makes a false information, and you know it's that. False information. Yes, it is. To them, you're alarming. What law? Why do you think you're being trespassed from places like Albertson? You've been trespassed from places all over the town. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't, officer. Yes, Look, right okay, here, right now, yes, Albertson, but no, they said I can come as long as I don't have firearms, and I agree with it. I didn't see, first, okay. I didn't see no that's sign yeah, that said, as long as you don't have your guns on you, they can allow you in the store. Yeah, they didn't even say it's all right, if I can steal it, it's no big deal, but still, they said they have a store policy, I didn't see no sign on the door, I would immediately go off the property, I respect all private property. I went, I go to Best Buy, they don't care about me, they're cool with me. I go everywhere, and it's just Albertsons has a policy on it, and I respect their policy. Like I said, I'm not, I'm I walking... Respect the fact that somebody walked, drove by you, and they're okay. alarmed with you carrying guns in town. Okay? So what happens if a black guy comes walking down? Should someone call it that, and you're going to pull him over? Terrible analogy, very uneducated. Uh, so, very so, it, what happens if someone, look, what, what am I carrying? I'm carrying a sign. I'm carrying a rifle, slung behind my back. I carry a property holster fire handgun on my side. World, man. In today's world, That's we have normalization all across this nation on a daily basis by whack jobs armed in our communities, okay? That's why you're drawing people's attention. Okay, right well, I'm going to go ahead and plead the fifth then, and I do not consider this team in your pockets oh. while we're talking to you. I'm not going to tell you again. Cool, I'm sorry. I just kind of have it. Go ahead. You're getting mad at me if you want. I'm not mad at you, man. We just got to figure out who you are, okay? Mr. Jordan, here's the deal. Like I explained to you, when the police department responds to calls for service, okay, we didn't just randomly drive by here, okay, where we've got a dispatch call for for service from people that are driving by, not knowing what you're doing with a pistol and rifle walking down the road, okay? Okay. So when we respond to calls for, for service, we ID the people that were in that call so that I can tell my boss who I talked to okay. what's going on and why I, what, why I did what I did, okay? Like I said, okay, I don't... We're not going to argue back and forth about the law, okay? This is my job. This is what I do. But your okay, job is to uphold the Constitution okay. and your law. Okay, stop. Go ahead. I'm, we're, not, we're not arguing about that. I'm telling you what my job is and what I do and what we all do. Okay? That is your job. So it is to identify people in our calls, calls for service to determine if there's any crimes that have been committed. That isn't legal. Okay, that was my job. It's not. So when we leave, you can pick up your firearms and okay. move on your way, but we're going to continue to get calls and we'll be back here talking to you. Okay, well, okay. like, officer... That wasn't lawful, you know it. Can you I'm cite the ordinance? Can you cite the ordinance at least? I'm not going to argue with you about it. I'm just asking, can you cite the ordinance? All right.